Hello Stamper! Welcome to French Sheet's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to show you how to do a quick background wash or scribble, whatever you want to call it. This one is done on watercolor paper and this one is done on regular white cardstock. Um, I way prefer the watercolor paper because it's easier to blend. So uh, you can do it on both. It's just that I prefer way much on watercolor paper. So we're going to start with our watercolor paper. Uh, today I decide to use Pure Pizzazz, uh, Crush Curry. So you can use any color you want, whatever you feel like. And Marina Miss. So I'm using my uh, cover for my palette. And the best thing to that for that, you can squeeze it, but it's not enough for this. We need more ink. So I'm going to put a drop of each color. And don't worry if it's still some in your cover. When you close it, if it falls in the your ink pad, it's perfect. Just make sure you use the right color at the right place, in the right container. Now I'm using the Stamping Up Spritz bottle and I absolutely love uh, this one because the uh, mist on it, it's very light. And we need our Aqua Panther. My main thing that I need and I forgot it seemed like, here we go. So you can use different uh, one. The Aqua Painter, how it works, you open this here, you put the water in your barrel and close it. Just make sure that your brush is wet. So I'm going to make sure my brush is wet. Here we go. Now, we're going to spritz our paper. If you do it with regular cardstock, it don't spritz good because it gets too wet. So I'm going to take this and here we go. I got it wet just a little miss. Now I'm going to take my green and scribble. You can start with any color you want. See it's just spread, that's okay. Now I should have a rag. I always got a very lovely rag in this room. Here we go. I wipe my end there. Now I'm going to go with the blue. And if you see it's not wet enough, you can always put more um, water or you can squeeze the water from your barrel. It looked very blah till we're done. This is too dark there. I'm gonna wash that a bit, put some over here. So where you see it's too dark, you just wipe it a little bit more. Now I'm wiping my brush. We're gonna go in the yellow, make sure I get plenty of uh, And then the yellow, it's the lightest color, so you can see I'm going right on top of pretty much everything. This is too much yellow. What I'm going to do is put some water there, wipe it a bit. Here we go. This is it. Now I'm going to add some blue there because I wipe it too much. Here we go. And blue and yellow get the greenish tones, so this I would say it was a perfect combo. Voila, my friend. So now the trick to this is you have to let it dry completely. So let me close this here. And um, so I cannot stamp anything on that till it would uh, dry. And <clears throat> you can use any color. The black I used to use that stays on. But like over here, I get the leaf. I did that in, um, I would think it's always artichoke. So uh, I just stamped the leaf on top. How I done this here? This was tricky a little bit. So what I done, I take my piece of um, this piece here, and it's still wet. Yeah, it's very wet. So let me grab a piece of, of cardstock that I can show you. Okay, it is three by four if I remember correctly. So let, it's just a piece of carb, um, copy paper here that I get right here. So three by four. Yes, it is. So just to know that this is the piece, let's see the cardstock, that it's color, I'm going to do this on it. 
So then we know, okay, this is the one that uh, it's all watercolor on it. I take the same size piece of paper and cut it. It has to be, um, what you may call it, a copy paper. I take this, I take my punch, whatever flower that you want. This, uh, now I'm using the uh, fun flower, the big one, and this was the pansy. So I'm going to take this. Put it wherever I want it. Let's say I want it right. This is very big though. Let me reach my pansy punch. Uh, pansy, pansy. <clears throat> well, maybe I won't reach it because I don't see it. Oh, yes, it's here. So I'm going to reach my pansy punch. I'm going to take this right here. Let's say I want this in the bottom here. Okay. So that was your piece of paper on top with the that you watercolor, correct? Now I'm going to take my pansy, um, my flower shop, I mean. So I get my stamp. Okay, this I remove because that's going to be our top. This is this here. Now this here, it's my mat. And my background on this one is going to be in the yellow. That's crushed curry, by the way. So now I'm going to mount that exactly the way I want it. So I got my border, correct? So now I'm going to take my stamp. And that I like to do it and stays on. Right now I'm using Marina Mist because that's what I got in front of me. But I like to use stays on. And then I'm going to come here and then match that right here. You can... Uh, I'm just bending down so I can see where I'm stamping. So that's pretty good here. I'm missing some. But another thing you can do, let's turn this around. And let's show you the right way while I get your attention. Let's, <clears throat> you take the corner of the plastic and the corner of the stamping magic. Stamping magic, it's your best friend when it comes at stamping, really. Okay, I got that there. Let's put that where we wanted this. This is our back uh, back piece of cardstock. Like here, it's in the uh, strawberry slush. Going to put that right there because that's going to be my opening. I'm going to take my uh, plastic thing that I already stamped. It go right there. Just all this and all that. Okay, now you know where it's going. Oops. Let's leave that right there. You know what? Let's leave that, because it's just a copy paper. It should work perfect. Let's leave that right there. Now I see I'm cricket a bit. Here we go. So now we got it. Now let's take our stamp of my jig right there. Let's remove this. Let's go in the corner and even if it go on your uh, carb uh, your paper a bit it's okay but look you get your perfect image so now I would take this and bring it right there see how perfect it fit now voila now I think it's ah uh, it's dry enough so here we go I'm gonna take this because this is the same size than this so now you're gonna see exactly I'm gonna match it because that I pretend that was my uh, piece that was stamped, right? I mean color. Perfect. Give a good push. Save that because you can use that. Going to take this. Put it right here. See, you get your perfect match. I really like these color. So this is it, my friend, how you do this. And then I would take this. And you can stamp your image on top of this. So I can take this. Now I don't even know how it went out. I would have stamped it first. Trust me. Okay, go this way. So I think I can eyeball that about. Right. Let's hope I can do this. But I would stamp before I punch it out, my friend. Good enough. So now I can get my flower in the corner. So... Hope you learned something new, how to uh, scribble your background and do your flower. And I put uh, my piece of uh, cardstock or watercolor with dimensionals so it gives some depth in your hole there. This is it. 
Have a great day, my friends.